Okay guys, so today marks a very important historical moment in my channel. It's a day that literally thousands if not millions of people have been waiting for and that is the day that I review a Cast King reel. Now I can remember since the very first video I uploaded on my channel all the way up until you know the video I uploaded today uh, there's been people asking me in literally every video you know can you review a cast king whether it be a specific reel or you know just a cast king in general I always told them that you know you know contact cast king and tell them to uh, send me one and I would you know gladly do it now the reason I say that is because I've studied cast king reels I looked at their lineup um, and for one thing there's really nothing about a cask, any of the Cast King reels that uh, grabbed my attention to the point where I would want to spend the money to buy one. Um, even though they're, you know, the prices for Cast King reels are really affordable, you know, um, that's money that could go towards, you know, another JDM Shimano. And also, um, the styling, I guess you could say, a lot of the Cast King reels just didn't appeal to me. A lot of them were, you know, awkwardly proportioned and and whatnot. But up until recently, they came out with a reel that was uh, good looking. I have to say it was a good looking reel. So I actually went on Cast King's Amazon website and tried to uh, contact them through the email. Uh, for some reason, their email link doesn't work. I was going to ask them to see if they can send me, you know, their latest reel. But luckily, we had a very generous viewer who contacted me literally last week and he actually offered to, you know, send me an SLX and a Cast King Assassin, brand new, ordered, you know, straight from Amazon and from from Taco Warehouse, um, sent to me to review. And I was very tempted to uh, take him up on that SLX offer because I had an SLX on pre-order and I was going to cancel that and save myself a hundred and you know some odd bucks but you know I didn't want to do that to him um, so I told him you know I already have an SLX on on a pre-order and it's going to come in but if you want to send me this particular cast king I'd love to do a review so he put his money where his mouth is and I want to thank Vin for uh, making this video possible and you guys might want to thank him as well. Now, he says he's not a subscriber, he just views YouTube videos. So um, I don't know what his, uh, he says he doesn't have a YouTube username. Now the thing with this is he wanted me to test a specific reel. It was not the one that I wanted to test from Cast King, so he decided to actually send both of them. And it came straight from, I guess, Cast King in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, let's take a look at what's in this box. Oh. Okay, Amazon, a gift. Another thingy there. Okay, here we go, two Cast Kings. Okay, here's one of them. Apparently this is the Assassin. This is the one that he wanted me to test originally. And here's the one that I wanted to test. It's the only Cast King that made me even considering, consider, I should say, purchasing one. And that, of course, is their, what is this, the Royal Legend Elite. Hopefully this is the Elite. Okay, so let me pull these out of the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these two into two different reviews. I'm going to leave the Assassin for later. Don't worry, Vin. I'll get to that video. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this reel right here. It comes in a super nice box. It's got this silver foil lettering. And I've already checked out videos on this reel on YouTube. And 
and here we go. So it comes with a foil or a styrofoam or whatever this is top to protect it. And look at that. Now this is probably boxed nicer than any of my high dollar JDM Shimano bait casters. It comes in a, a little, uh, I guess it comes in a, it's kind of like an iPhone unboxing. It's got a piece of uh, styrofoam that holds the reel in place and it just looks super high end. Right, let's let you guys check that out. The Royal Legend Elite. let you guys take a good look at this thing now the videos I've seen online um, they're obviously most of them are done by sponsored youtubers but there's nothing wrong with that um, there's a couple of them that did a really good job Debo's fishing channel he did a really good job on this reel um, let's see what else comes in this box Some instructions Now this thing probably comes with more paperwork than I've ever seen come with a reel. You got your schematics. You got your some kind of something about conservation and I guess a bunch of uh, organizations they're associated with. Some kind of little mini instructions. Okay. And then instruction manual on a bunch of different things. How to cast a bait caster. All right, so we don't need that. So I'm gonna put all this back in the box. So this was, uh, I was very impressed on how they packaged this reel. This box is super nice. I'm gonna sit this off to the side. Let you guys take a look at this Royal Legend Elite. Now this thing comes in four different colors. Now I chose the blue because um, my re I guess my videos are full of black and red bait casters, so I wanted to change things up. And there's actually a specific reason why there are four different colors for the Royal Legend Elite. And I'll go over that with you guys later, but I want you to take a good look at this reel. It's a good looking reel. The best looking reel that they've made, in my opinion, so far. Okay, so I'm gonna do my customary inspection and take notes on this thing. And, uh, yeah, I will get back to you. Okay guys, so I've thoroughly inspected this reel and I really can't say enough about how much I like the styling of this reel. It's really well proportioned. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a picture of the original Royal Legend up for you guys. There was something about that reel that I just didn't like, the proportions. It really reminded me of this girl at work who has a really big forehead for some reason. But with this new Royal Legend Elite, they've uh, taken a change in direction and design. And in fact, the Royal Legend Elite really looks like nothing else in their lineup. You can stick a Shimano or Daiwa or Abu Garcia badge on this thing and nobody would bat an eyelash. That's how much I like the styling. It's got a lot of nice details as well. Now let's get to the basics. Now this reel comes in four different prices ranging from $70 all the way up to $76. And that's I think almost twice as much as the original Royal Legend. And it comes in four different ratios. And that's where these colors come in. So each ratio is assigned a specific color. So I believe there's a five one to one, 
which has the white color. And then you have the six six to one, which is what I have. And this is assigned the this baby blue color. And then you have, I believe, a 7.3, and that's assigned a black color. And then you have an 8.1 extra high gear, and that's assigned this reddish maroon color. And as you go up in gear ratio, the price goes up. Now, unfortunately, you cannot mix and match gear ratios and colors. So if you wanted a uh, this blue color in uh, the 8.1, um, you can't get it, at least for now. I don't know what they plan on doing in the future. And this thing comes with a total of 12 bearings, 11 ball bearings and one roller bearing. And for having this many bearings, the Retrieve is, it's smooth enough, it's nothing to write home about, but it's not as smooth as, you know, there's some reels that have lesser bearings that are smoother than this. It makes some kind of a clicking noise sometimes when you when you turn the handle but uh, it's very acceptable and one thing that's a disappointment is I'm gonna put a picture of the schematics um, of where all the bearings are placed according to Cast King and it doesn't look like they have any bearings supporting the pinion so you have 12 bearings but no, none of them are supporting the pinion for some reason and that's a disappointment but it looks like there's three bearings supporting the spool, which is kind of, uh, um, that's kind of odd to me. That means more friction during the cast, but uh, oh well. But of course we know it doesn't matter how many bearings you have, it's where you have the bearings. Okay, so this thing is supposed to be rated at up to 17.6 pounds of drag. That's not as much as some of these huge drag numbers other reels are putting out, but that's that's a lot for bass fishing. And they achieved that with six different drag washers, three of them being carbon. It's got a pretty big spool. Line capacity is 130 yards of 12 pound test. And the big deal about this reel is Cast King's uh, Palm Perfect Compact Design with the Ergo Twist side cover. Now this little uh, design may be new to a lot of you guys, but for us seasoned JDM guys, this is nothing new at all. The first thing I want to do is I want to compare this to some of what I believe is its main competition. Here's the die with CG80. They look to be about the same, same size. Let's look at the height. The die well definitely looks like it's gonna be lower on the real seat. And here it is up against the newest $99 reel from Shimano, the SLX. SLX is noticeably smaller. And yeah, noticeably lower on the reel seat as well. Now I did stick this on a rod and I was playing around with it. And it does palm very well, but there's something about it I don't like, which I'll go over later. As far as this side cover goes, now for us who are JDM snobs, I guess you can say, this is something that was implemented years ago way back in 2011 Shimano came out with the core fit design what they did was they eliminated the spool tension from here and they stuck it here that allowed them to move in the the handle and drag star closer and it also allowed them to flatten this palm plate so what they wanted you to do this is a you know a finesse fishing rod is they wanted you to be able to just reach over and turn the handle with your finger. So this is one of the, if not the most compact reels ever made. And Shimano is still using this design in a lot of their JDM reels, 
but nothing they've never re released a uh, core fit uh, reel in America so that might be new to some of you guys but to some of us guys we know that design's been out there a while so yeah this is what the palm plate looks like and I'll get to my gripe here later on okay time to get to the nitty-gritty and get some weights and measurements on this thing okay now before I weigh this thing I forgot to mention that this reel has a graphite frame and side plates feels really solid though feels really chunky and solid and I don't say chunky in a bad way kind of almost reminds me of a casitas and how this thing the weight seems to be centralized so it feels really solid okay so let's see what the scale says now I think they say this thing weighs 7.2 ounces so what does the scale say yep right at 7.2 ounces so for being a graphite reel I guess that's average there are some reels that are all graphite that are lighter like the Casitas which I'm gonna put up next to it see this looks a little bit bigger to me but it weighs less almost in half almost a half ounce less so I don't know what the reasoning is maybe it's all those ball bearings okay so one thing cast King said was they lowered the height of the reel and I'm thinking they went with a smaller spool if I'm not mistaken the original Royal Legend probably had like a 35 or 36 millimeter spool so the way you get to the spool is you take the ergo twist side cover you can see it says close and open so all you do is just twist it like this and then this thing pops open and it's attached and it's also spring-loaded and you pull the spool out just like that so it's pretty deep spool it's got a matte finish you can see it's got the long spool shaft and a spool bearing so let's see what the scale says this spool weighs sixteen point five three grams so with this bearing this thing is probably weighing in at about 15 grams so for those of you who don't know uh, a spool that's comparable is the Daiwa Tatula CT Type R that's got a 15 gram spool and let me show you the brakes now I guess apparently the brakes on the regular Royal Legend were I guess allegedly kind of weak so they said they gave it uh, a stronger magnetic system it's got five magnets as you can see it's the standard Korean Chinese style magnetic system that's static but uh, they said that they gave this thing um, really strong magnetic brakes and uh, I believe them there was a, a guy named Roar Fishing who uh, took this out and was skipping with it and I believe that these brakes are pretty strong so if this is supposed to compete with you know some $99 bait casters from mainstream manufacturers then the spool weight is going to be class leading so that's good okay so we're just gonna close this up there we go now it's kinda hard to turn this but I think they did it that way on purpose but uh, this magnetic system in order to adjust the brakes you can see there it says I think this says max maybe no it says free and then you just turn this dial and the dial clicks one two three all the way up to ten 
and the clicks feel really good going back and forth from different settings. They're nice and positive and refined. Now the one disappointing thing about that is that there are no clicks in between numbers. So basically you have uh, 10 clicks with 11 total settings. Now, if I'm not mistaken, most of these uh, brick systems have at least 20 to 28 different settings. So they're going with, with 10 or 11 with this particular reel. And I don't know if it may need more settings or not. I'll just have to find out when I cast this thing. And the great thing about this is that the numbers are very bright and they're easily seen. Something that can't be said about uh, a reel like this, the Casitas, where the numbers are really, really faint and you kind of got to really squint to look at them. I wish Shimano would put brighter paint for their numbers because they're pretty small anyway. But yeah, so that's a plus for the Royal Legend Elite. And it's a, a good bit of uh, refinement there, having the numbers bright like that. Of course, you got that triangle there to signify what setting you're at. So a pretty light spool with magnetic brakes. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how this thing performs. Okay, so let's get into some of the notes that I took about this reel. Now, the paint job on this reel is really, really good. It's got this nice gloss. There's no unevenness or blemishes I can see anywhere. And the fact that the decals, they're all over the place, you can see. They're actually underneath the gloss. So you can't scratch them off. So that's a big plus. And the fact that I'm getting tired of matte, matte finish reels. Now, when I say it's got a quality paint job, let me show you guys something. Okay, so here's a, a $99 Daiwa. Now I'm going to show you guys something. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that this reel also is made in China. Where is that China logo? There it is right there. So both of these reels are made in China. One of them is a big mainstream company and one of them is a, an upstart. But let me show you guys something. Take this spool out. Okay, so look inside here. The paint job is flawless on the inside. But let's take a look at this. That looks like shit. They got paint in here. The paint is uneven here. Look at the side plate. So the quality control of this Daiwa CG80 is pretty shitty just based on this one reel. Ooh, one thing I forgot to show you guys this looks to be a 34 millimeter spool so pretty average as you can see against Daiwa's 32 millimeter spool it is significantly bigger. I would measure it but I lost my my electronic uh, calipers so I'm pissed about that. But yeah, that uh, just shows you how good the paint quality is of this Royal Legend Elite. Now I'm not sure about the other Cast Kings, but uh, yeah. Okay, so remember how I was telling you about how it palms pretty good, but there's something I don't like about it? Now I was playing with it on a, on a reel, or I should say a rod. And I'm gonna bring in this Shimano Aldebaran once again to illustrate my point. Now, for having this, you know, side twist cover, this thing still bulges out and the edges are really sharp. And when I was just, you know, 
and it's got a sharp edge here. I don't know how you palm your reel, but uh, my finger was rubbing up against this sharp edge, so I had to kind of adjust my grip. And uh, yeah, my finger would also fall in between this bar and touch the sharp edge. And I could tell, you know, working something like a jerk bait all day, that might become an issue because it became an issue for me literally, you know, 30 seconds after I had it on a rod and was just playing around with it. So they kind of mitigated this uh, this Ergo Twist copy of Shimano's Core Fit by sticking this thing out and then having these sharp edges. You can see Shimano wisely did not give any sharp edges on this thing and this thing is flat. And they've even position this bar angled you know at a certain degree to where you can't really feel these holes here but I can definitely feel the hole with these openings right at least this one with the Royal Legend Elite something they may want to address in the future I already said that the retrieve was pretty it was smooth but average and it's got a little bit of a geary feel and I could hear some knocking on it sometimes. Now let's talk about the components. Now this has got a lot of nice components except for one. Now the star drag, I love the look of this star drag. Hopefully it'll show through on the camera but it's kind of double ported and it's really thin and classic star looking and it's nice and big and it is made of graphite and it does click but some of these edges are kind of sharp sharp on the inside corner so when you're turning it you're definitely going to feel it from the side it looks like a die with drag star at least from the side but from this side it looks much better than a die with drag star the spool tension is made of aluminum and it is very smooth to turn. Of course you can see it has the uh, Cast King logo and it's smooth to turn because just like on the CG80 if you take off this spool tension knob you can see it's got a metal insert there and there's no spring, they use an o-ring for tension. So metal on metal is very very smooth. So turning this knob is very refined and smooth. I like that. It's kind of a high-end feature. Of course it's got this this trim around here. That's graphite of course. It's nice looking. The knobs they look really really nice. They're, they look small but they are comfortable. They're soft and rubbery. And they are uh, flattened. They're not contoured like Shimano's, but they are comfortable. They look really, really good too. I like uh, small flat knobs. Now the only thing I don't like about the components is this handle. Now the handle is 90 millimeter. I just don't like the curve look of it. If it was straight, this reel would be uh, one of the best looking reels out there. But that's just personal preference. And the thumb bar is solid. In fact, they've made mention of a what a steel kick lever. So that's going to keep this thing solid for the life of the reel. And yeah, it does not move. It does not have any mush. It's it's slick. I mean, it's uh, gloss coated, but there's these little indentions, I guess, to help you grip if this thing gets wet. And also, the line guide is an, uh, an oval line guide. It's oversized in the fact that it's taller up and down versus a regular circular line guide. In fact, I think the CG80 has one as well that I forgot to mention but it looks like the one on the Cast King is taller 
So yeah, I mean, this thing is a good looking reel. It's priced, you know, between 70 and 76 bucks. So there's no real direct competition that I could find on Taco Warehouse. Now there was a Daiwa, I think it's the RG um, baitcaster that was, I believe it was 70 bucks or maybe 80, but they're discontinuing that for some reason. So what reel can this thing battle up against? What reel out there that I have that I don't have to go out and buy that's around 70 bucks? And of course the answer is this right here. The Pissifun Phantom. I believe this thing is still 70 bucks on Amazon's website. And uh, yeah, you know what's gonna happen next. These two are gonna go head to head and battle it out in the standardized field testing. But I'm gonna take the cast king out and just cast it around. See how it handles, you know, a variety of lures um, before it gets goes into battle against the Pissafun. In case you're wondering, the Pissafun, um, I'm gonna leave a link to a video by BCSG Fishing. Where he did a long-term review on this reel. He, he stuck a lot of big peacock bass over in Singapore. Lucky bastard. Um, so yeah, if you are wondering about the Piss Fun Phantom, especially its you know longevity, I'm gonna link that reel. I'm sorry, link that video in the description box and let you guys check that out. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, first analysis and unboxing of my first Cast King reel. Now, whether you love Cast King or hate Cast King, um, I believe they're here to stay. You know, they popped up a couple of years ago. The first time I ever heard of them was when I saw a review for one of their rod holders on Tackle Tour. And I think they kind of made a big splash with their Speed Demon reel that kind of took the crown of the fastest reel in the world for a short time. And uh, they've just been growing and growing ever since. Now, I personally am glad for all these new companies popping up, um, providing affordable options, because for one thing, it definitely makes the mainstream manufacturers give us more for our money in order to get our business. And competition is always a good thing for the consumer. Remember that before you, you know, knock a new company coming out with certain products. Okay guys, I'm gonna take this out on the water, see what this thing's about before it heads into battle against the Pissifun Phantom. Okay guys, thanks a lot.